Hi again then guys and welcome to a kind of video which we don't do on the channel all that often and that is a product review. Now I'm going to put all the time codes so that you can jump around through this video if you want to see different parts of the review. Some people might not want the full package, you might just want to jump to the features or the price, that kind of stuff. So you can do that if you want to. Now, the product in particular is something which I want to put all my cards on the table and say, first of all, I'm not being paid for this review, to be positive or negative or even at all. So it's a complete, pure review, just like I do for any product here on the channel. And with that in mind, it's not the kind of product, again, to put the rest of the cards on the table, it's not the kind of product I would go out and buy. But that's not really the point of the review. Because I often review, for instance, cars in games that in the real world I have no interest in. But it doesn't mean you can't review them objectively. So that's the point of this review. But I just wanted to say, first of all, that, like I said, this is not the kind of product that I would usually buy. Because it is earpods, airpods, wireless headphones, whatever you want to refer to them as. And they're made by a company called Jux. Now they're made in California and these are an Indiegogo startup campaign. And that is one of the things that I like the most about it. And it's one of the reasons why I actually wanted to do the review, because if this was someone like Sony or whoever, of course they wouldn't be contacting small channels anyway, but theoretically, it would be cool to review something from them, but it's just not the same as when it's a small plucky underdog. Because we all buy the big stuff because there aren't good enough alternatives that everyone knows about. That's kind of the whole underdog point. These are the underdog. Because on Indiegogo, these are not fully released yet. And when they are released, they're going to be expensive. But all AirPods or EarPods are currently expensive. These are $149 when they're released on the market, but they're not currently. If you go to that Indiegogo page, which you can actually see here on my computer, I'll put the link down in the description as well. If you go over there and support them, you get them for $49. Now, again, as I said, this is not a product review where I'm trying to convince you that you should be using earpods. That's not the point of the review. This is a review for people who already want earpods. This is for somebody who's in the market for earpods and wants to know what's out there. This is the point. Now, this particular brand of Jux, as I said, they're made in California. And I love the fact that across the board, it's got so many different cool features that you can benefit from with these. Now, first of all, the price is significantly lower because of that startup scheme than any kind of big brand is going to offer with these features attached. Because the carry case, first of all, is also the charging port. They're held in magnetically, so they're not going to fall out. They also charge through those same points. They turn on when you remove them from the box, and as long as you put them both in at the same time, they immediately begin searching for a Bluetooth network to connect to your phone. So, for instance, go into your settings on your iPhone, your Android, whatever the case may be, then find them. I've done it a couple of times now already. Connect straight away, no problem. It tells you in your ear that it's found the phone, that it's connected to it. And then it just does what headphones do. Now, you can use it as a Bluetooth headset for calls, in effect, as well. The battery time is far less. I think it's like five hours, if I recall correctly. You're looking at in excess of 60 hours of listening time with these before they need to be charged. I can't recall how that compares with the carry case. That might be in conjunction with it. Once again, check out the website. I've put all the links below to the Facebook, to the website, and to the Indiegogo. And you can see all the official specs there. But as far as the case itself, even, it's not just a case. It's tech. As I said, it's the charging station. You've got the USB port in the back, which connects to a regular size USB. So you can plug it you know, through an adapter into the wall. You can put it into your laptop, into your PC, into whatever you want to. And it's on-the-go power. It's not just a box, for instance. And on the front, you've got these four small dots, which indicate how much battery life is left. Again, simple, but cool. It's a good feature to have. And to me, that's exactly what ergonomics like this do. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles and chrome plating and crazy stuff that you don't need. It's a sleek, small, stylish box, about the same size as a GoPro. It charges it up, one connector in the back, battery status on the front, and that's it. It's simple. Likewise with the pods themselves. Now to take one out, obviously there's no point in actually turning them on and connecting it because you won't be able to hear the difference anyway, but as far as the pod itself, this is the right ear. 
It comes with a number of different uh, rubber, I'm not sure what you'd call those, muffs, I guess, for the for your ears. And they're three different sizes. The standard ones were fine for me. This, as I said, is the right ear. Now, one of the concerns that I always had about pods, and one of the reasons why I never really went into the market to get one, was I was worried that they just fall out. They don't seem that stable, especially with the extra weight of batteries and whatnot inside. But as you can see, it's not a problem. These actually feel more stable, if anything, than the traditional headphones that I would generally use. Now, as far as using them, the sound, first of all, is fantastic. Now, again, I'm the kind of person who would usually just use the headphones that came, for instance, with my phone. So in my case, Apple headphones. Not the best sound around, of course, but that's just what I do. So for somebody who's already in the market for earpods, how do they compare? Well, that's something which, to be 100% honest, I can't tell you because, as I said, I don't buy earpods and I've never bought them before. So for that kind of comparison, you'd need to look for a different video. For somebody who's not in the market, though, viewing this as a complete outsider, which is the point of this review, I was very impressed as soon as I started playing music. It sounds way better than the headphones I usually use. And of course, plenty of headphones do sound better than the ones that you'd get with an iPhone or with a uh, Galaxy or whatever phone you happen to buy or MP3 player. That goes without saying. And you'd certainly hope for the price that they would sound better, but they do. So it's not like you need to worry there. It's not all show and no go, in other words. It's got great bass. It sounds very rich and clear. I love the sound, in fact. And these are definitely going to be my go-to headphones now. As far as the use, the whole bud itself kind of acts like a button from what I've felt using it. And as long as this silver part is lined up with your mouth, in effect, that's the right alignment for them. Now, another thing that I like as far as the simplicity goes is that it's all just based on a couple of taps. So the left and the right ear actually act independently. You tap it once and you pause, tap it again and you play, and then the right and left ear are independent as far as skipping songs. So you tap the right ear twice, it skips to the next song. Tap the left ear twice, it skips to the previous song. Tap it three times, and you've got the user interface with, for instance, Siri for the iPhone, and that kind of voice control. Now, there are a number of variables, variables, variables even, as far as battery life and that kind of thing. It's far more if you're listening to music than it is if you're making calls goes without saying, but it's interesting info to know. And again, you can read all of this stuff on the website. It comes in four different colors, I believe white, blue, red, and black, I think. But again, you can check that out over there. And for me, as I said, it's not a product that I would have gone out and looked for, but that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to review it, because they are an underdog. They don't have the same kind of marketing that these huge brands do. So even if I can help them to just get started a bit more, then of course, why wouldn't I want to help an underdog? Somebody who's new on the market in this kind of way, advertising a fresh new product that actually really delivers. The pricing, especially on Indiegogo, is fantastic for what it can do. Again, it's not fantastic for somebody who's not going to buy earpods, but for somebody who's in the market, it's a great price. The features are good, the battery is good, the design is cool, the sound is fantastic. Across the board, I'm impressed, guys. So very well done to the people at Jux. I'm very happy to endorse this brand and this product, paid or otherwise, in this case, otherwise. <laughs> but overall, that's it for my thoughts on this product. Of course, check it out if you feel so inclined. And of course, stick around on the channel for various other products dropping pretty much randomly uh, over the time on the channel. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.